Hey everyone, what's up? In today's video, I hope to give some validation to people with hearing loss. Welcome, my name is Emily. I was diagnosed with my two-sided genetic hearing loss when I was four months old. I've been wearing hearing aids almost all of my life, but this video today is for other hard of hearing people to give them some encouragement and validation in the fact that dealing with hearing loss on a daily basis is not easy. Let's get to it. All right, I'm just gonna admit it up front. Dealing with hearing loss, especially on a daily basis, is hard. Yeah, hearing loss can make life difficult. And that's just part of navigating hearing loss. Some days you just say, I have a hearing loss and I have to deal with it. So recognizing that you have a hearing loss and recognizing that it's out of your control helps you understand that there are things you can control and cannot control. This mindset enables you to be patient with yourself. Give yourself grace. Realize that because of your hearing loss, some things may be more difficult for you. And one of those things is hearing, processing, and understanding sound. That goes on constantly. And your brain, having to work overtime due to this hearing loss, becomes more exhausted, faster, compared to other people that don't have hearing loss. So realize that this processing may make you more exhausted or result in hearing fatigue. Be patient with yourself, give yourself grace. Being patient with yourself and giving yourself grace sets the precedence for how you expect others to treat you. So if you don't have patience with yourself, if you don't give yourself a break, despite this hearing loss and things that you cannot control, you need to start there. Ask yourself, why do I feel this way? Consider what do I need to do to be patient with myself? As you consider this, then you'll start realizing that you can be more patient with yourself and you'll find ways that you can counsel others to help you so that they can be more patient with you. I have to admit that at times my hearing loss has made me feel stupid. And this is in a variety of ways. Maybe I've asked someone their name three times and I still don't understand what their name is. In high school, sometimes I would miss the due dates of things. So I would fail to turn things in on time. Or sometimes I would ask a question and they would say that question was just asked. And so my hearing loss would make me feel stupid. But I have to realize that I am not stupid. I have moments where I feel stupid because of my hearing loss, but my hearing loss does not make me stupid. It's really important to differentiate between the two because in the first one, where you recognize that hearing loss makes you feel stupid, but doesn't make you stupid, it empowers you. It enables you to have more patience with yourself and others. So realize that, and remember the next time you feel stupid, just say, okay, that was a moment that I felt dumb. And remember that you cannot control your hearing loss, but you can control how you respond to moments that are created because of your hearing loss. Another piece to this puzzle of validation that I want to give to hard of hearing people is don't be afraid to leverage tools to help you understand better. These tools could include investing in a quality pair of hearing aids or hearing devices. These tools could include apps, that do transcriptions on live conversations, apps that do live transcriptions on phone calls, apps that take notes or summarize things. Tools could also include interpreters. I used a cued speech interpreter in school because that's how I learned what people were saying through cued speech. And you could also leverage actual people to help you, whether they're a note taker or a friend or a colleague sitting by you. If you miss something, just turn to them and say, I missed that. Can you repeat what they said? I want to validate the fact that you have a hearing loss. You are not alone. I have a hearing loss. And in fact, over 60 million Americans have hearing loss, yet only 17% of them treat it. So I'm validating the fact that yes, you have a hearing loss. Address that. Admit the fact that yes, you have one. You can't control the fact of whether or not you do have hearing loss, but you can control what you do about it. So leverage tools to help you and increase your confidence in yourself, despite the fact that you have a hearing loss. Realize that every day is different. If you find things that work for you, like tools, realize that some days they'll work and some days they won't. Just keep trying and move on. Don't let 
you know, the moments that you feel stupid, the moments that you don't hear, the moments that you miss the punchlines of jokes. Don't let those moments get you down. Just keep pressing forward. Keep doing your best because this will really mold and meld your character into a resilient person. And overall, this will help you in life in the long run. All right. So what if you're saying like, Emily, I'm fine. I feel really good with my hearing loss. I feel like I figured out what works for me, what doesn't. I figured out why I have hard days versus not hard days. Well, I'm going to encourage you to increase not only your confidence, but others' confidence by getting involved. Embrace hearing aid decor, whether that's the tube ties or the, the sleeves or the little ornaments. Just start having fun with it. Make your hearing aids more obvious. Make it a discussion piece. Or get online, get social, and connect with others. Realize that if you're really confident, other people can benefit from hearing your story. They can be inspired by you. That's one reason that I'm doing this channel and that I'm doing this video today. Now, I hope that I gave you some validation in your hearing loss and the fact that it's not easy. But we can focus on what we can control to feel better and stronger. Are there any aspects of a hearing loss that you feel like I didn't really address? Any things that you want validation with regards to your hearing loss? If so, I would love to hear in the comments below. Just because I run a YouTube channel does not mean that I've got my hearing loss figured out. No, I live with it every day like you do. And so that's why I'm trying to make these videos to help you. I know you got something out of this video. Please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribing will help my videos reach more people and it will help you be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thanks so much for watching. Stay strong, stay amazing, and have a great day.